Tonight in the Web Center, futuristic technology that's a game changer for Mobile County Public Schools. Students too sick to go to school, now learning from home. And a local sixth grader was among the first to give it a spin. News 5's J.B. Buno joins us now live in the Web Center. And J.B., this looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Yeah, Roseanne, maybe something out of Star Wars or something like this. I really love this, so we want to get right to the video here because of simply how cool this is. Check this out. Sixth grader Alton Edwards is in the hospital, too sick to go to school, but that didn't stop him from rolling into classes at Casey Middle School. Edwards here controlling this robot and the tablet attachment from the hospital with a remote controller. He sees everything through an HD camera that he controls and everyone can see him in the hospital bed. He maneuvers into classes, talks back and forth with students and teachers, and most importantly, he doesn't skip a beat when it comes to his curriculum and the fact that he's in the hospital right now. Houghton's still recovering, but as far as remote controlling a robot from his comfy hospital bed, he says it's pretty awesome. Everything is great about it. I get to go to school, look on a robot, and see all these people looking at me like... <laughs> this is awesome. This is great. And I get to see my teachers and my friends. I can see everybody. This is awesome. One can be. Now, this tech is thanks to a collaborative effort by Mobile County Public Schools and USA Women's and Children's Hospital. It's not ideal, of course. It's best if. Alton is physically in class, but these advancements allow him to both recover at the hospital and learn from his teachers simultaneously. Alton, if you're watching tonight in the hospital, we hope you get better soon and return to class, bud. It's technology that's really brand spanking new. Mel and Roseanne, this is really cool stuff. It might freak some parents out as far as what we're seeing in the classroom these days. And Mel, I'm willing to bet this is a far cry from what you used to see back in the classroom back in your heyday. You're right, a far cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JB.